Uh, there's been a lot of talk about how well Brady's played so far this year, and obviously well deserved. But you guys in front of him, uh, playing, seem like you're playing a pretty good team defensive game. What do you think you guys are doing well as, as the five man unit in front of him to help him out so far? Well, I think lately our forwards have been really helped with a lot of back pressure, which allows the D to be aggressive and try and cut off the blue line. I mean, we do film every day or every Tuesday as a D group, and I think our line rushes are getting a lot better. We're not really giving many chances up on line rushes, yeah. and uh, so yeah, I think that's pretty, that's really helping to our success. Yeah, I asked for a, I want to talk to a defenseman about this, but it is a five-man unit really too. It's it's not just the D men, but the forwards kind of have to do their part as well, isn't it? Yeah, yeah it definitely is, and it really helps because they're coming back right to the middle of the ice, so we're not giving up many chances. Like again, I said on the rush and. We're shutting things down when they do get possession of the D-zone, and it's looking good. Yeah. And what does it do for you guys when Brady is playing so well? Uh, just the confidence it has to give you as a, as a group. Well, it uh, definitely allows you to be a little bit more aggressive because you got, you got confidence that your goaltender is going to save you or bail you out. Uh, like there's a couple times I can think of last weekend where they did have odd man rushes and got some really, really good looks at it, and Brady made some huge saves. So it, it definitely helps out a lot. You talked in the preseason about last year with the, the big run you had, maybe not handling that very well. Do you think this team is better equipped to handle success this season? I definitely do. It's a, it's a whole different mentality in the locker room. I think we're coming in every weekend and um, expecting to win. I, we know that if we put our put our best foot forward, like our best game in, that, that we have a chance every single night. So I think uh, the whole mentality and culture has changed, and it's, it's great to see. That wasn't the case last December. Well, it was. It was, but it was a new. It was really new for a lot of us. I mean, coming here, we hadn't had that success ever, so it was. It was really new, and like I said, you had to learn how to win and learn how to handle it. And I think that the team's done that. Robert Morris. I mean, off non-conference games, uh, but there's the pairwise ranking. These seem to be important games for you guys. Any chance overlooking them? Oh no! Like uh, every every team in college hockey is real good, and we've been watching film, and they look really good. So I mean, we prepare like it's any other weekend. Did you guys have a hard time? I mean, we talked about dealing with success, but I mean, media groups kept getting bigger when we were coming down here to interview you guys. I mean, you went on Christmas break, and I'm sure people were asking you. But I mean, was there a little bit of uh, the cockiness seep in, or was it hard to believe, or was it like what was sort of the mentality? Is well, I think that built, if, I guess compared to what it is right now, I guess. I mean, I guess you could say we were surprised if you were to ask us at the beginning of last year if we we're going to be second in the country going to Christmas. I don't think many people would have said yes, yeah. but. Getting there, now we want to be there again. We expect to be there again. We, we know we can be there again. So that, that's the kind of mentality that we got in the locker room right now, and that's that's the difference between this year and last year. It's interesting, too. I mean, you guys are, uh, have played pretty good hockey of late. You're still not ranked. I mean, the, the publicity maybe isn't there. Does that allow you to fly under the radar a little bit? Like, you know, there's it, you can come in the locker room and just kind of be yourself. and. Yeah, well, there's definitely not that much pressure on us right now, and it's, it's yeah. always nice to be the underdog, but I think we, we believe in ourselves, and it doesn't really matter what the rankings are saying or, or what the media thinks, to be honest with you. As a defenseman, uh, there's been a lot of talk about how the, the speed on this team has, has gotten better and trying to get transition goals and things like that. Does that. Do you guys have to play any differently when you're starting breakouts or things like that to kind of get that offense going? I mean, some of those long passes, I think, are things we had to see maybe as much in the past couple of years. Has there been any strategy changes in that regard? Well, I think that as a decor, we all can skate, which really helps both the forwards and obviously they can skate. It's probably the fastest forward group I've ever played with. So yeah. our whole mentality is just go, 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 get the ice, get up the ice as quick as you can, get it out of your zone. And it's to play against. I know like Michigan does that a lot, and it's not easy to play against as a defenseman. So, I mean, it's, it's, a, it's a great strategy. Game started, how much confidence did that give you from what you did on Saturday night? Oh, well, I'm, I mean, I just tried to get to the right spots and, uh, you know, get the front of the net and stuff. And I had two tap-ins, so, um, yeah, I'd just be in the right place at the right time. But um, I mean, Is that yeah. your game pretty much, being around and getting, the, like you said, the tap-ins? Yeah. I mean, I, and I'm not going to go out and dangle some people, but, uh, you know, getting to the net and uh, making hard plays and playing Buckeye hockey. I mean, really just trying to uh, put your nose to the grindstone, really. How much is the is the forwards helping the defense that helps Brady? I mean, the total team defense. Um, well, I mean, the back pressure is huge when you're coming from uh, the offensive zone, and um, you know, if the forwards can outskate the other forwards getting back, uh, it, it makes a huge difference when it comes to playing D because uh, Brady will know where the shot's coming from, and um, if he can't control the rebound, you know, he'll have help. So, yeah, it makes a huge difference.